What's going on YouTube? Today is finally going to be the day I bring the Kung Lao guide. As far as the cameo choice I'm going to be going over today, it's going to be Goro because that's probably the most popular one. Um, recently, Sonya has gotten really popular for him, but I haven't tapped too much into that one yet. We're going to just go ahead and start with his buttons. All the buttons that I'm pretty much using when I'm in a real match with Kung Lao. All right, we got Stand 2. Uh, it's a really good stagger. Um, it's probably going to be one of the buttons you use to punish most things with because it's his fastest button. Well, it's not his fastest button. Stand 1 is, but Stand 2 gives you a better combo starter. Stand 1, It's one of his. it leads to one of his combo ender strings, which is 1-2-1. One, one. And you got Sweep, which is actually plus 3 on block. So Sweep is a move that is good for mix-up because paired with his Sweep, you have his 4-2, which is his overhead. When it comes to how you approach fighting players up close, you want to, you know, use a lot of Sweeps because it's plus 3 on block anyway. And then once people get hit by enough Sweeps, most people tend to be like, all right, I'm kind of tired of getting swept. And they block low, and then that's when you come in with that overhead. And then he has overhead combos involving meter. And then you got back three, which is a great mid um, it leads to an overhead, which is back three, four. And then you got back three, three, which is mid low. They're both, I think there's a fuzzy in it. You don't know what fuzzy means. It means you can block really quickly overhead low or low overhead. I forgot what the fuzzy timing is and you can cover both options, but it's not that easy to do. So I would consider it a real mix up. Back three, three is mid low, mid overhead. Good for mix ups and it combos into Goro. Down four is a really good bunch. It's gonna be the only poke you really use for the most part because it goes pretty far. It's really good on block. His down one is seven frames. So it is faster than this bun, but it goes absolutely nowhere. Like as you can see, like up close, it doesn't even reach. So I would almost abandon this button unless you're like as close as possible. Next, we're going to go into strings, strings that you commonly use in his combos. So you got two, one, two, two, one, two was a good combo starter because this is what the combo looks like when you go for it. If I was good at the game, you can keep it meterless with Goro and you can get a combo like that. Pretty good corner carry. Now we're in the corner, it's about 33%. And then you can spend the bar, which actually does more. So anytime you wanna do more damage, always spend the bar on down back four. Down back four is this move right here. It's called Soaring Monk. And then this is uh, Shaolin Shimmy. That's his common combo ender. That's the combo you're trying to end with most of the time. I mean, that's the special move you're trying to end most of your combos with because it gives you the most damage. It gives you the best knockdown. Um, we got one, two, one, which is typically the string you're going to end the combos with into Shaolin Shimmy. You got back three, three, which is a good mix up. And Goro gives you a full meterless combo starter. As you can see, like 30% for getting mixed is pretty good tool. Once you show somebody that you got a full combo off that option, most people are just gonna block low. So that's when you can start going for these for free. Cause most people, that, you can't even combo this. So most people are just gonna take that. If they get too confident blocking low because you conditioned them with back three, three, you can just go overhead. We're gonna tap into strategy and like how the hell do you actually get the hit with Kung Lao? And everybody typically knows by this point, but if you don't know, Kung Lao is an armor machine. Bro has this move. Challenge, this is just the EX version of this move. Challenge Shimmy, this is EX Challenge Shimmy. It has one hit of armor and it does pretty decent damage by itself, but the benefit of that move is it's an armored launcher when you call Goro right after, and it's actually plus on block if they block it and you call Goro anyway. So pretty much there's no real con to using this move. Like it's kind of like, you know, panic knifing in Call of Duty. You know, you kind of just do it and most people get hit. And if they don't, there's no real risk to doing it. A big game plan with Kung Lao, as scrubby as it sounds. Whenever you're in that range where you can do this move, you pretty much just do this move. And then you get a literally a full combo off of it. So let me just show you like. All right, hopefully my editor just edits out the drops. And that's literally just for me just deciding to do armor. So say somebody does something with a gap. I don't know what Raiden has. All right, he has a gap somewhere in there. So that's that's where having an armored launcher is humongous. Not every character in this game has an armored launcher. So whenever you get the opportunity to play a character that has an armored launcher, that's a game changer. I basically just got a full combo on this Raiden for him doing that string on me and I have an armored launcher. Because most characters, they can't do armored launcher. They can just do this, and that's about where armoring stops for them. Most people just get their little 14%, 11%, whatever they get, but not a lot of characters get a full combo. With that being said, meter management is crucial because in order to even do this, 
you have to have obviously meter and if you decide to just go ape with it and just keep doing it over and over you're eventually going to run out of bar and now you're going to have to basically play kung lao without any meter and you have to keep in mind every time you do this it is a really strong tool but you're spending a bar meter and you're spending half of goro cameo you have to keep track of both resources in order to play this team optimally sometimes i don't even bother doing the armored launch uh the armor if i don't have goro because if i don't have goro i'm not going to get the full combo benefit and i'm not going to be able to I mean, you're actually going to stay safe on like 99 percent of the cast because this move is negative seven on block which means that it's safe on anybody in the game unless they have a six frame move which is johnny cage has a six frame down one so he can down one punish this move but then when you call goro after it he just makes him plus so then you can do stuff like that if they block the entire sequence right you armor they block it you call goro you can go for a grab you always have to go back throw because if you call goro and try to go for forward throw he'll shove him because goro isn't available to you because you know forward throws require goro to come on the screen so because he's on the screen still, you can't throw forward. Now I have to explain what a shimmy is. Basically, you're blowing up the opponent for attempting to tech a possible throw that they think you might do. And this string right here, 2-1-2, two two, for some reason, shimmies a lot of people. So it's a nice string to do if you have thrown your opponent quite a bit, and then now you got them thinking, oh, and if your opponent just is teching all of them, you're like, man, this guy techs too much. He, he knows I'm going to throw right here. He's just going to tech back. Most people... You do the string too, they're gonna get opened up. These are all the options after armor on block. Back throw. 2-1-2. Two, two. And you gotta hit confirm this 2-1-2. Two, two. If it hits, you gotta be ready for the confirm. And then the confirm is 2-1-2, two, two, soaring, uh, soaring monk, all that. So you can do sweep, cause that's plus three. So you can do sweep and be plus three. And then after you're plus three, you see all this pushback. You can't really do much with Kung Lao from this range with all that pushback on sweep. So typically what I like to do is I like to do sweep into down four. Most people are trying to mash after it because either they don't know it's plus three or they don't care it's plus three. Um, but from this range, most people's buttons don't even really reach. Of course, this isn't like the for sure guaranteed answer to follow up sweep with, which is down four, but it's the safest option. If you get to that layer, you can do stuff like this. You could do down four armor, put them right back into the situation. You go and sweep, down four armor, call Goro again back throw like it gets crazy so yes kung lao is a very mixed up character and if i'm all the way full screen another thing i like to do with kung lao is dive kick in armor most people try to stop you and they they end up being late or it's, this is just really a hard option for people to stop the only way they can stop it is if they neutral jump read it this is a nice little sequence right here to do on block in case you like land a poke on hit and by a poke on hit i mean something like this put it on auto say you land a down four on hit and you want to go for either a grab or a shimmy you can do something like this, call Goro, come down with jump two. So basically you want to do two, one, two, call Soaring Monk. And then as you call Soaring Monk, you want to call Far Goro. This is mid screen. You want to call Far Goro because you want to try to jail this whole sequence. This whole sequence is really the opponent can't up block. They can't armor. They can't do anything. They literally got to hold this. So this is what the whole sequence looks like. You can come down do a back throw. You can't do forward throw. And then you can go for a shimmy. Oh yeah, 2-1. That's also another good button. 2-1 is plus, was it three? Yeah, 2 one's plus three. Uh, with Kung Lao, that doesn't re really mean very much. So you can do like 2-1 into throw. You can do 2-1 into down four, 2-1, down one, but it's down one kind of sucks. So I wouldn't really do down one. Um, so you can do 2-1 down four. And you can do stuff like this, you know. 2-1 back dash back three try to catch the whiff punish on a poke attempt or something like that because a lot of people don't know this is plus three but a lot of people when they see plus three they're going to decide to mash their fastest button anyway because most people in this game especially at the casual level are mashers um but okay now i'm going to cover mid-screen combos with meter without meter this is off overhead with cameo no bar 27 off sweep that's off low you don't get nothing without Goro off sweep mid screen. It's just a straight up knockdown. One bar off overhead. 28 off 212 starter, which is going to be the starter you probably get your hits with a lot. Is um okay, so it's 212, come down with jump two, back two four, one two one, challenge shimmy. And then you actually get a neutral jump safe jump, which breaks most of the cast. And we'll get into that at the end. In order to keep this combo meterless, you don't spend the bar for uh, Soaring Monk, you just do the meterless one and then call Goro. So you do meterless Soaring Monk, call medium Goro. I like to do jump to dive kick because it's the easier combo. Like that, jump to dive kick, one, two, one, challenge shimmy, 
33% in the corner. It's a great situation. You don't always want to spend meter because it, it's in theory the right thing to do because it does more damage. Sometimes you give up a little bit of damage so you can have a higher chance of winning the round. Because if you spend that bar, say you only have one bar and you spent it on the combo, now you don't have any bar to armor or gap or something like that. And pretty much if you don't have any bar or any Goro, you pretty much just do Shaolin Shimmy. Like you really can't do much else. And then I like to dive kick in, armor, do some stuff like that. Challenge Shimmy. Whenever I'm too far to get Oki off that, I like to dive kick in. Once you got people scared of like this, then you can do stuff like, you know, dash and grab type deal. Um, but let's do corner combos. So meterless off sweep. You do stand four, back two, four, one, two, one. Challenge shimmy, neutral jump, save jump. Off overhead, you do four, two. Call Goro, close Goro, stand four, back two, four, two, one, uh, one, two, one. Challenge shimmy, it's 31. Off uh, 212, you can do pretty much it's the same combos, you're just adding a stand four. 38. Now that hurts for me to lift. At this point, you guys got to get very familiar with your damage output so you know what route to go for, depending on the amount of health your opponent has. So if your opponent has 38% health, don't do a meterless combo, spend the bar because you want to kill. So this is off a of bar. Jump two, stand four, back two, four, one, two, one. That's 42, so you see that does 42 in comparison to 38 if you spend the bar and without Goro instead of going for the meterless Goro conversion, so 4%. You can also uh, meter dump, so I guess you gotta do stand 2. Stand 4, back 2, 4, 1, 2, 1. I don't even know what this move is called, but it's down back 2. You could do stand 2, do it again, and then you could just do back 4, 2, raw. And that's 47, and you get the safe jump still. Oh, also, in the corner off over, he can actually throw his hat toss, which is back forward 1. Um, he can actually get a full combo off that in the corner off 4-2. So 4-2 hat toss. In the corner is when the mix-ups get really oppressive because in the corner you get all the big combos. So in the corner you can do like a bunch of sweeps, your opponent gets a sweep, and then you hit him with 4-2 and then you get a full combo. You can't be afraid to do sweeps. It's little damage, but it's it's uh, mental damage. When somebody gets sweep, you open them up to getting thrown. Because whenever somebody sweep, whenever you get swept, the opponent's first reaction is to start blocking it, right? Whenever they start blocking it, you're like, okay, that's cool. I'm plus three. What do I do after I'm plus three? I poke. Once they start blocking, crou uh, crouch blocking, you can throw them. You can overhead them. You can do all kinds of things. As far as anti-air combos, Kunlao's anti-airs really aren't the greatest, but you want to up-block if you can with Lao just so you can avoid like his bad anti-airs because stand one's pretty good. So if you anti -air anybody, you can do stand one, back two, four, one, two, one, back four, two. That's really good damage. That's 28 meterless. Um, but you can't always trust that that it will actually entire most of the characters jump ins in this game. So if you like land a up block on somebody, you just go for your basic BNB. You know, 38, corner carry, safe jump, all that. Um, but that's pretty much it for anti-airs, pretty much. Unless you want to air-to-air -air them like that, you can always, you know, try to meet them in the air with jump two, dive kick, and then uh, get the little two-on-two -two conversion. But, you know, something funky like that might happen. Might not even work. Gotta let them drop a little bit. You know, that's an option. Um, but let's talk about this safe jump, because that's the only thing we really haven't tapped into. What I mean by safe jump, it means if you do a knockdown that's super plus on hit, it gives you the ability to jump up, come back down, and break armors. If people try to get up with armor, it beats people trying to get up and mash. It beats people trying to get up and do anything pretty much but block. We're going to do enhanced tactical takedown. So Reiko will get up and do his only armored move. His parry also doesn't work in this situation, so... As you can see, that's the safe jump in full effect. So every time you end your combo in one, two, one into challenge shimmy, you jump up, come down, jump two, and you pretty much break all armors in this game, but Johnny Cage. So the safe jump is a big thing to know with Kung Lao because that's one of his strongest, his biggest strengths as a character is having that safe jump. So every time you get hit in the corner, the opponent really doesn't have many options. Come down. If I do the same safe jump I do on the rest of the cast, for some reason she gets out of it. But in order to do it on Melina, you have to do back three. So come up, jump one, back three actually beats it. Um, that's the uh, that's the option you do for characters that have armors that low profile or teleport away. So this is something you do on like a Baraka. Um, but yeah, so if, if you ever in this situation, you do something like this. You get a full combo for somebody trying to wake up. That means somebody you really can't wake up on Kung Lao ever. You 
just get put right back into it. And you can just straight up block too. You know, I can just block. If you ever want to side switch somebody, you can also do down back too and put them right back in the corner. You don't get any kind of Oki or like anything like that, but you at least get them back in the corner. As far as Fatal Blow combos, you literally do the exact same combo, but you just end in Fatal Blow. So I'll give you a combo, for example, and this pretty much always works. So we'll do like a full combo, right? Jump two, back two, four, one, two, one, Fatal Blow. Like, works every time. And it does like maybe like 50, I'm not sure. Oh, of course, if you mash like all the buttons, it does randomly more damage as well. So that was like 52, but of course the opponent isn't mashing I am to make it do more damage. So if you ever want to do a combo into Fatal Blow, don't use Goro. Goro is going to scale into Fatal Blow. But if you have to use Goro because you don't have meter, then by all means do it because it's going to hurt more than not Fatal Blowing. Doing EX Soaring Monk is always going to do more than calling Goro. So this is the combo you want to go for most of the time. You can get a little bit more optimal than that by doing back 2-4, but I've seen people drop it. I don't like to drop it. I like to go for what's consistent. That combo does more than what I've been doing. Hope this guide helps you guys out and uh, hope to not run into you guys playing this on me. Peace.